Welcome to Bella's Vistas. Today I'm going to print the negatives that I processed in a previous video. Well now I shot some film with the 4x5 camera with my Leica M4 and my M6. Shot some film on the Rolleiflex. Processed the film. We've got negatives ready to roll. Now I've got to mix up some Dectol and then we can develop some prints and see what happens. I'm going to mix the chemistry in this stainless steel tank. First thing we got to do is get our water up to about 125. We're going to need three liters of water, so my water panel is regulating that. Here we've got the Dectol developer. Water temperature is right up there, right where we want it to be. Slowly pour the powder in. Constant stirring all the time. You don't want to make too many bubbles. It's so nice to have a stainless steel surface to work on like this. I'm going to get this set up perfectly. It's a very nice dark room. We've got ventilation. It's going to be fun making these prints. We've got quite a selection of paper to use. We're going to bring it up to 3.8 liters hot water with 125 degrees. That'll help to uh, dissolve any little uh, stragglers that are left behind. Two liters. Now I'm just going to add, bring this up to 3.8. Hang on to the hose, turn the water panel on. Like I said, we want a nice uniform solution. There's our stock solution of Dactol that I just mixed up. Here is one liter of the stock solution. I'm going to add that to our tray. Okay, because you mix this one to two. This is two liters of water at 68. So we'll add that that I use for film, put it in the stock tray. Fixer is going to be the same thing. And I'm setting up our wash here with the Kodak tray siphon, which is going to be connected to the water panel, which will bring us our wash water. Well, I've put the paper in the paper safe here. Now we're going to take the Lights V35 enlarger. We're going to put in the negative. We'll focus it up. We're going to see how that works. I'm going to load up a 4x5 negative in that enlarger as well, and we'll see what we get. Well, this is my black and white darkroom. Well, it's any darkroom, color darkroom as well, but we're doing black and white now. There's the Lights V35 autofocus enlarger. Lights timer. Speedmaster analyzer. Chromega 4x5 and larger. Over here, we're on to the wet side. We got the trays lined up. Right down to the end, we got the wash tray. Developer, stop, fix, and wash. My paper's in here. Negatives are here. The negative I want to print is second from the end. So we pull out the negative carrier. So our negative is in the negative holder. Take our little brush and brush it a little wee bit. And then, put that in there like that. Close that. Put things out of our way a little bit. And, just turn on the enlarger, and this enlarger is autofocus. We see our image projected down here. Now, this hasn't been used for a while, so we're going to double check our focus here. And you know what? 
looks pretty good. But just to be sure, we'll use a grain focus. I'm going to use the grain focus. I'm going to need a piece of paper under that too, just to be sure. Here we go. I was able to find an exposed piece of paper. I would say that's dead focused right there. So we'll stop her down. I'm going to use three seconds for my test exposure. I adjusted to 31 yellow, 51 magenta to give me about a grade 3 with the Alford paper. I'm going to try a 10 second exposure on a test and see what we get. Now looking at my test strip, 5 seconds, 10, 15, 20 seconds, I think it could be even a little darker. Maybe a bit more contrast too. Let's take it up one more contrast grade. I gave it a quick rinse and I ran outside to look at it. And I think we're going to go a little bit darker than this. But I think I'm going to do another test at 20% darker than this. There's my first print in the washer. It's shot with the Leica 50mm Noctilux. It's a night shot, shot at F1, very little depth of field, very unusual shot, I think. Well, now I'm going to use the Cremiga enlarger, and I'm going to take the most dense negative I have of this subject, I bracketed it, shot this in the desert. Now with 4x5 film, the notches are here, so the emulsion side is facing you. So you put it in the carrier like that, emulsion side towards the lens. Put the top of the carrier on there. Cut the airline and gave it a little... This is by far the easiest way to get the dust off things. Then we'll just put it on focus here. And that looks clean. This is not autofocus. This is painstaking focus. Oh yeah, and we've got to switch back to A pi 10 now. So seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. Yep, right on. Because we're using a four by five inch negative so that scales up precisely to 8 by 10. I'm quite interested to see how this is going to look. Now I've got to put the lights out and do some work here. Well there you have it. A print from a 4 by 5 negative that I shot in the desert. Some prints that I shot with the 120 camera with the Rolleiflex. We've got 4x5 film, we've got 120 film that came with the Rolleiflex that I found. Thanks for visiting Bella's Vistas. Please like and subscribe. Click the little notification bell as well.